responded to a public call regarding Mia alone at the zigzag bridge at Merici Reservoir and she was very very dehydrated she looks very pale and she was in need of serious medical help there were actually beams below the zigzag bridge so she was actually clinging on the beams so we figured that the only way to rescue her was actually to go into the water the idea was actually to push her towards the land area so that it's it's easier to, to hold her, but she remained very persistent. So we actually grabbed her while she was on the beam. Her knee was pretty badly injured, so her skin was actually dangling. And we head down to ARVC as soon as possible. So after Mia's surgery, um, she actually recovered pretty fast. And it was probably around one to two weeks after her surgery, uh, we started her on her physiotherapy to make her stretch her leg and um, as well as to work on the gripping of her injured feet. Gradually, we actually introduced um, natural food which she can find in the forest because the ultimate aim was we don't want her to, to be dependent on human while we were caring for her. So we actually maintained very minimal contact on her last day of physio, we did an x-ray and we found that uh, her x-ray prognosis actually showed very positive results. She has actually recovered well. From the many weeks of physio session, we could tell that she was getting stronger from her grip and her temperament and her appetite. So that was when we decided to actually uh, make a decision that it was time for her to go back home. When it was the official day of release, um, it felt really fulfilling and rewarding to actually um, bring her back to where she originally belonged. From the time that the door was open, you could actually tell that Mia ran straight up in the tree. And you could tell that firstly, she has not grown dependent um, to humans at all. She's still as well. And it was, she was displaying natural behaviours and showing all the basic instincts. With the newly formed um, macaque rescue team, we hope to not just rescue um, cases like Mia, but we would also like to educate and create better awareness among the public about the macaques and not see them as pests, but rather see them as something which we should treasure because they are one of our native species of wildlife here and we hope to actually um, educate people in how we can actually live and coexist together with these macaques. So if you have any monkey issues or monkey trouble, do not hesitate to call the macaque rescue team at this hotline. Hello, I'm Sabrina from ACUS and I'm with the newly formed macaque rescue team and this is Mia's story.